Hi guys, it's Sheena. Um, so today I am on cycle day 26. I ended up ovulating on the last uh, month that I took the study meds, which I guess that would have been back in March, I believe. So I, I must have ovulated really late. Um, but yeah, so I'm on day 26 right now. And I went and I saw the reproductive endocrinologist um, a couple weeks ago. And it went pretty well. I'm not in part of the study anymore. I decided to get... <laughs> Come here. Say hi. Oh, say how big am I? Say hi. Hello. Um. Oh my god. <laughs> Um, <laughs> because the cats keep jumping on the computer and I'm trying to film. <laughs> and then Rella's trying to chase the ducks. Rella! Oh, Rella! Come here, girl. Cinderella, come here. <laughs> oh, my God. All right, so anyway, so I went to the reproductive endocrinologist a couple weeks ago, and they told me that they want to um, try to put me on 100 milligrams of Clomid. And we'll try that out for a while. They were going to see if they could find out what type of medication I was on from the study, but I haven't heard back yet if they were able to find out anything. So I'm not quite sure if I was on letrozole or Clomid. Um, but what they want to do is just try the just the oral medication for a while. And then they also looked in to see what my insurance company would cover for um, IUIs. And apparently my insurance company, they only cover the diagnoses, but not the treatment. So ultrasounds and lab work would be eligible, but an IUI, I'd actually have to pay for that out of pocket. And that would be, um, they told me, $551.50 per cycle for an IUI out of pocket. So that was a little... I guess disheartening, but you know, if I ovulate in any way with the pills, then you know, they think that I should just be able to, you know, try a few more cycles that way, just taking pills and timing intercourse. So that's what we're gonna do. A little crazy around here. I had my mom that she was out here for a couple weeks, and we're trying to remodel the house, and the animals are running around outside now, and I have the ducks out, and the chickens, and the geese my cats and my dog so our little farm is getting crazy and then the garden plot I can show you we have it all till I'm gonna do some raised beds where you put um, I guess you don't it's, it's supposed to be better for the um, microorganisms in the soil so we're gonna try that out and it's pretty big it's about um, I think our garden's 60 feet by 90 or something. And we're not going to do them all raised beds, but a lot of them will do raised beds, and so that'll be fun. Um, what else has been going on, I think? Mm. Oh, I pretty much hate my job so I figured out what I'm going to do now for making a career change um, so next month June and July I'm actually taking tests to become certified to teach so I'm going to get my uh, teacher's license to teach K through 6 and also Spanish so I'm really excited about that because that's actually what I originally went to college for was to be a teacher so yeah that's why I originally went to school because I love working with children and and teaching and then I, I changed my degree because I was like oh teachers don't make any money but then now that I'm working in the real world I figure you know I would rather just have a job that I at least enjoy and have some type of passion for versus just doing it for the money and not being happy with what I'm doing so I'm really excited to go into the teaching field um, and then I have a friend who's a teacher and she's gonna help me study for the praxis and I've bought like a couple books and I've already been studying and I'm really excited. Um, 
So yeah, so I could either teach K through six or even teach Spanish. And honestly, I, I mean, I love working with young kids, but I also could see teaching high school Spanish. I would enjoy that as well. And um, also then I was thinking that I'd have like, whoa, sorry for shaking. <laughs> Um, I'd have the perfect schedule too because I would have this summers off and I can that would allow me to actually have time here out on the farm and then I would have um, all of the holidays off I'd get two weeks off for um, during you know winter break and then I would get spring break and all that so it would be really it'd be a great schedule and plus when we have kids then I would be able to get out of work earlier and not have to stay so late every day and so the schedule just it, it works really well and so I'm pretty pretty excited about it so I cannot wait to actually be um, teaching and I've worked in schools before and been a teacher's assistant and loved it like out of all the jobs I've ever had like that's been the most rewarding job and I actually enjoyed going to work so I know I, this is the right th um, decision and it's the right um, change that I need so, yeah, I'm just trying not to stress about the whole trying to conceive. It, that's super hard, though. I don't even, I don't know. I, I do stress about it, so I try not to, but I do. Hmm. Yeah, so I was doing kind of okay, and then today <laughs> I felt like, crap again because um, I was at the store and it's Mother's Day and the lady at the checkout was like oh are you a mother and I'm like no and it just like I think she was gonna like you know obviously wish me happy Mother's Day if I was one but it just I don't know this is one little thing to remind me that I'm not and it just really put me down and I was in like a funk and crappy mood for a while and I mean now I'm better but it's kind of like rubbing salt in the wound. And I'm super behind on videos. I haven't watched them in a long time. And honestly, the reason I haven't is because I am trying to not think about, well, I think about trying to conceive, but I was, I just needed a break. I needed to not see anything baby related because it just makes me depressed or anything about pregnancy related. Also, it was making me depressed right now. And it's, I don't know, I'm just in a little bit of a TTC depression and I'm trying, trying, trying to get out of it. I'm just like stuck in this little slump right now. And I think things will be better when I'm back on the medication again because then I'll at least feel like I'm doing something. Um, so, yeah, I haven't been watching any videos. I do want to start watching them again. I also am not going to start counting um, I don't know, like, how many months I've been trying to conceive instead of doing, like, a lot of people on their videos will put TTC vlog, whatever, number. I don't think I want to do that anymore because I don't... Oh, my goodness, cat. Seriously? <laughs> um, I don't know. It just makes me a little bit... Uh, puts me down a little if I see how many months or cycles or how long I've been trying and, and so I just don't want to think about this and it's just TTC cycle whatever here's the day I'm on and we'll just take it from there but that's what I've been dealing with I'm trying to stay busy and keep myself distracted so part of keeping myself distracted is not watching TTC vlogs or pregnancy vlogs even though I'm so excited for all of anybody out there who has gotten their BFP and is doing pregnancy vlogs, I'm I'm so happy for you. I really am. I just, I can't watch them right now, but I do try to keep, even though I sound like I'm really down, I guess, because I am, but I, I do stay positive as much as I can, and I do know it will happen. I just have to have more patience, which is really hard, but that's what I'm working on is patience and trying to be a little bit more content with the current situation but I hope you guys are doing well and um, babying out there and I will be catching up on videos very soon all right <laughs> bye